Hi guys, it's Aika and welcome back to another vlog. So, it's currently 12.41. It is a Sunday today and I actually um, planned to start this vlog a little early but I ended up sleeping till 10 o'clock because I started watching another K-drama last night and oh my god, it made me really emotional. I started watching Start Up and yung first episode nun, sobrang nakaiyak. Especially with what happened to the father. Oh my god. Right now, I'm actually heading to the grocery store. I'm gonna buy a bunch of snacks and products from Japan. We're sending a box to the Philippines and I thought I would buy some stuff for Kyle. If you guys didn't know, Kyle is my boyfriend and we're gonna be celebrating our fourth year anniversary this December. Which is really crazy because it feels like it was just yesterday. That's what I say every year because it does feel like that. Like, I can't believe it's been four years. I haven't seen him in like six to seven months, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I thought I would give him some stuff from here. Just a small gesture. So he can remember that he has a girlfriend. I actually had a bunch of plans with my mom today, but she said that she was gonna go on a date. So yeah, but pa siya may date, de ba? So before I leave, I wanna quickly show you guys my outfit. So this is my grocery store outfit. I just layered these two tops together. This sandal top is from Zaffle, and the one here underneath is just. A white plain top from Zara and this is the comfiest white t-shirt ever it's so soft for my bottoms I'm just wearing my Levi's jeans I love that it has a straight cut but it still fits really well on this area so it's really flattering on it's one of my favorite jeans but I forgot I had it so yeah I just recently discovered it again. This one is from Teddy Blake. You know how much I love pink, so I got the pink version. I actually showed this in my other vlog, in my What's in My Bag vlog, and I've been using this bag a lot. It's the perfect entryway if you want a designer handbag because it's really affordable and the quality is amazing. I can wear it like this, and I can also wear it as a handbag. I can just easily like remove this one. They also gave me a discount code to share with you guys which I will pop here on the screen and I think they're currently having a big sale right now during the holiday season so if you're looking to buy a new handbag go check them out. This one is super duper classy and I'm sure it's gonna last me for a very long time because of the quality. said he's on a diet so I'm just gonna buy like the staple ones that I know he's gonna like this one strawberry version mm. this one is really good it's biscuits covered with chocolate so I'm gonna get this milk chocolate and this white chocolate you said why do you feel so sure I know my I had to go back and buy some 
supplies to wrap the gift with. I didn't really care about the appearance of the gift, like how you give it. Sometimes I would just put it in a paper bag, then that would be it. But as I got older, I realized that the presentation matters just as much as the gift. I think it's the experience of like them opening it. I did buy a bunch of things here. Not this is not all though, because the others are for my brother. Oh my god. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna change. I'm actually gonna give him a board. A board is a box of random things. So I got a big box here. Gift wrapping paper. So the first gift that I'm gonna give him is this one. This is the Studio earphones. It's wireless with active noise cancelling because he mentioned that he wanted wireless earphones for working out so I got this. Before he met me, he never used to drink coffee but then of course being with me all the time I got him to I got him addicted to coffee as well like me so I have a lot of these UCC coffee. This one's really cool. It's like green tea. Like you make it like green tea. It comes in a pouch and then you just dip it in hot water and then you can just remove the pouch after. It's really cool. So I have a lot here. This is good for like a month. I love the color as well. It's pink. I also got this sweater and it has a really cool graphic design here at the back. So I just got my wisdom teeth removed, 2 out of 4, finally, but yeah, I can't really show my face right now because I look like a chipmunk. My cheeks are so bloated and so big. I'm currently reflecting on my 2020 life, what has happened this year. 2020 was such a roller coaster. I'm sure we all know that by now, but even through the hard times, I want you to remember that there are also good times. Like there are also realizations that this year has brought to us and it has helped us to be more grateful about what we have and treasure what is the most important in our life. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed the clips you saw a while ago, but this clip you're seeing right now, I'm actually filming it the day you're watching it. So yeah i'm gonna post this video later and i thought i would do a quick question and answer because i feel like i haven't done that in a while and i really miss like chatting with you guys you know with my cup of coffee that's almost finished so i recently got a surgery for my wisdom tooth they had to actually like cut this part open like inside you know to get the impacted wisdom tooth. I was asleep the whole time which was really really good. The really weird thing about it is that they had to inject something on my butt. I'm not sure if this is TMI but yeah they injected my butt twice to make me fall asleep. Getting my wisdom teeth removed was kind of a struggle after that because my face was so puffy. Like this part of my face was bigger than this part. So it was it looked distorted in a way. So yeah, that was a struggle because I couldn't like look at myself in the mirror and feel pretty, you know? I was looking like a weirdo for five days, six days. I have tried waxing before and it was painful like super duper painful oh my god it's also a little like uncomfortable since you know your down there is completely like seen by another person but it didn't really bother me because the person's like a girl naman so okay lang naman pero if i'm if i were to choose now i think i'd pick shaving because with shaving you can do it anytime anywhere but yeah, I'd pick shaving right now because it's a lot cheaper. So for mga kaya magpawaks, mga 500, 600, 1,000 ata. And with shaving, you only need like a razor and something to shave with. So yeah, shaving is better for me. It's hard to get over insecurities. 
like right now I'm insecure about something in my life and I feel like everyone is too I have this friend who has like a really perfect nose her nose is so tiny and so slim and one time I heard her say that she was insecure about her nose which was like really crazy to me because I love her nose and this just goes to show that all of us have insecurities. Sometimes the insecurity that we have may be the reason why other people like us or it can be a trait that we have that other people like about us. The best thing you can do is to focus on the things you're good at, the things that make you happy instead of giving energy to think about what you're insecure about. If you can change something about yourself, for you to be less insecure, then why not? But if it's something that you can't really change, then just have to focus your energy on to something else. A lot of you guys were asking when I'm coming back to the Philippines, if I'm gonna come back in the Philippines, and yes, I will. Hopefully next year if, you know, if everything is back to normal and my mom finally allows me to go back. Kasi lagi kong sinasabi, ma-uwi na ako. Sometimes I do miss my independence because in the Philippines I get to do whatever I want and I get to, you know, take care of myself and be my own person in a way. Here, my mom's here so she does mostly everything for me and sometimes I miss that independent life where I get to grow more. You know, because when you're independent, you do everything by yourself and that really helps me grow as a person and it helps me become myself more. But yeah, right now naman, I'm enjoying that not so independent life as much as I can. A couple of years ago, I decided to get my armpit hair lasered just because it was getting really bad. The hair was so thick and it was a lot of hair. So I went to Skin Station and I got the diode laser there and it was really, really effective. I think I had like 15 sessions. So right now, I'm not really like growing that much hair anymore. So what I do is I have this at-home laser IPL thingy and I just do it at home just for like the maintenance because I can't really go out to a laser salon right now. So yeah, that's been really, really helpful for me. I think a couple of years ago, like two years ago, I had my public speaking class in college and it was really bad. Like when I was speaking in front of everyone, like my voice was so bad. Like it really showed that I was really, really um, nervous because I'm not really good at public speaking. Like I can't talk to a bunch of people in front. Like I can't, I can't do that. So yeah, that was a nerve wracking experience. And I think now that I'm talking to like a camera, you know, I feel like it has improved my communication skills in a way because back then I couldn't form like a complete sentence. Practice is really important and yeah, practice is really important. I don't know if you guys can feel me or like we have this type of connection because a lot of you were asking how I am, how's my mental health and thank you so so much for caring about me and it's been really difficult. Just when I thought 2021 couldn't get any worse, like, it decided to drop a bomb on my life. But yeah, we're getting through it. So those are all the questions that I'm gonna be answering today. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you have a great day ahead. I hope you have a great day every day. That's it for today's video and I will see you all on my next one. Bye bye